Enra, Enna, His Excellency, the former President of the Republic of Ghana, John Ajekum Kufo, Ekasaye. Some of us, we know the interview you know, was held about uh, five five days ago, or I think five or six days ago. But Enra, Enna, or Ekasaye. Now, and some of you have been able to get back, 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 he spoke as a statesman. He spoke as a statesman. But the same thing is that the controversy 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 is that 20 days to election 2024 and he is a statesman a former president of the republic of ghana and of course he was uh, the leader of the new patriotic party when he was the president but i'm going to call dr jonathan dr jonathan uh any enkobo dr jonathan asantochi machi emwa kwa bae di ba udia 95.1 bibi abo kodye hello dr bachotimika yeah, I'm um, also. All right. Um, what are Roma? I mean, me himself will follow the conversation very well. Uh, a free bra, I'm a penny dada, uh, John Ajikum Kufu, a casa till now. Now, there's been reactions, say, and this is for no be no as that a can send me a go, my penny dada, a hoofy, and my people for the cry about Bontebe Casu, say, more retract it, I apologize here. Now we are just about less than 19 days to election 2024. Now, as a political scientist and from where you stand, yes, a common way is it healthy for our body politics? Such unsavory comment must be condemned. In the first place, even Usha will age and Papa will age, and you will depend on two, which may arise you to the position of a president and now a former president still alive. We need to give him respect. Um, I think the third, the third thing I will say, yes, you know, say, the assembly see a Sunday, I am say, anything painful led by the communication director, including the Ladem himself have rendered an unqualified apology. And that, for me, is quite responsible. In the first place, you know, Bibi Saa, no, so Big Kasa Saa, I don't know whether, before they go out there to communicate, they do coordination among the senior members of the party in terms of communication. For which reason, uh, Abia, a comment like that, who willingly asked him to do that. And I said, the and it is quite unfortunate. It shouldn't have happened in that way. Mm. Now, because what I see is that the NDC, in terms of formal communication strategy, you know, they've been able to ensure, say, MPP, Star Wars, any bulwarks, Omota Kufuichino, I had to say, Omo Edani Omo Edi Achire, Yura Kufuichino, I don't know that about me. In Tinoshima, most often than not, the MPP communication strategy, with respect to Dr. Baumia, they've tried as much as possible to put the former president into the, the arms and then the operations of um, communication at the forefront so that the old, the old block of the party will have the belief to say they are with them. And that in itself was supposed to convince NPP in terms of Ashanti, Ruta, Apati, Nawakon supposed to convince them, so, oh, the party is united, they are in that about me. That has been the strategy. So far, NDC today have really done well to ensure, say, that party is there, so that it will kneel to their benefit. And, you know, a comment such as this, such an savory, irresponsible comment such as this, does not really augur well for all the things that they have done. I see. Be that what is me, I think, say, President Kufo should live above partisanship. I hold Kakan and Ayamiano because I don't think you say at this point in time you need anything. Now you are loved both by the MPP and the NDC. That is the situation you find yourself. 
So I don't know who his handlers and advisors are. Yes, he should be beyond partisanship by now. Liking that about me and telling us to say, one, uh, the man is a good economist, he has vision, and those things. And you were saying that with respect to before Obama and vice president, which means he said maybe the redenomination of me, you know, and a man who is a good in the idea. But, Mr. President, Mr. Former President, when it comes to the record, the current record of President Akufado and Dr. Baumia that you are praising, you know, ahead of everything, it is not supported by the fact. It is not supported by the current fact to say the records of Dr. Baumia is good to the extent to say you praise him. For crying out loud, for Christ's sake, former president probably has not been reading the current data and the record of our current president and the vice president. Maybe he's not been reading. But if he's been reading and a former a philosopher and a lawyer by that standard, I don't think he said he will, he will tell the whole of Ghana that the situation that we find ourselves, that Obama has done creditably well. I think he should check his inflation. He should check issues of the GDP. He should check the way we are not able to pay our debt. You should check the way uh, you pay for my investment. Uh, and uh, my investment, they can buy ideas from a They don't even know when they are going to get the money back. You should check the record of banking collapse. You should check the, the number of scandals that have engulfed the current government. Oh, you know, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, you know, I'm say, he is still being partisan. And if you are being partisan there, then it means to say, you would know very well that the hawks, the hawks will come hard at you. But in a very fine manner, that is how it should be. And not to use a several comment against an early statement. That, for me, does not augur well for our, our politics in terms of decency. Now, so, Doctor, looking at the circumstances, I you find you want to see in our body politics. Now, you share uh, the number of days that uh, Aka Yedeba Betro Abba. Now you share the stronghold of both the NDC and the NPP in Ashanti region. Of course, we know say the Ashanti region almost stronghold there the uh, the NDC and both the NPP will be a struggle so between me and uh, uh, vote and the free one more. And looking at the comments like this, it was Susasobi a war party, the NDC party, even though. The NDC party has condemned near the Ladem Eka any day. But it was in in their quest to this very particular election. Year now. Definitely, I was in Sanso. But as long as I'm uh, this disassociate to Omohu, I'm going to apologize both individually, individually and corporately. I think you say it will much ado about nothing. If you see people latching on that, then it means it's just for political advantage. And you cannot blame them. Cannot blame them on that. But as it stands now, and when you now marching such and some nonsense saying young man apologizing idea, I think that is all where uh, it should end. Because you know, they change the fact to say a common they were. And then you know they do get a bit of a bit of a bit change the fact to say uh capital was shrinking because of the the dollar to the seed, you know, uh actually see nonsense and you know the best some be uh but there are people who are so concerned and ardent supporters of such individuals in the country. For them, if you touch somebody like that, of course, definitely they will come at you and then maybe they will change their mind if they have done so. But respectfully, as long as Omitimi uh, changes us and that's a normal condemning on a day, I think in the political circles it is all well and good. I see, but the NPP uh, still na any anti or mohu ase. Ena. Well, oh. I mentioned the, mm -hmm. the politics as usual. You know what I expect them. So I call goofy sano. They will let you go. No, they will want to latch onto it and say all manner of things. But that's why it ends. You cannot blame them. You will have done the same if you have such an opportunity. And I'm going to say, yeah, no, I don't want taxes to work for for free. But in terms of the political arena, expect them to take advantage, and that is what they are going to do. 
But of course, people will read in between the lines and say that it is much ado about nothing. The panel na no afum and our patcho. In TV, I will be being quite to say a crime more than they believed. But yes, yeah, it is politics and they want to take advantage of that. That's it. Yo, Eti, na ane di nanka ebe ya nanka obi ya ma sun dream for Emra na nanka yeshe yenim ahead of this election si ana. Focusing on their messages, campaign messages, and that is it. But at this point in time, ane di in the heat of it, as I told you, people reading between the lines. The market say more yeah to do. Ni plano a chance in papacho. But yes, but finally, na mesu me chese. Oman peni ndada. I think he said it's about time. You see, when Mr. Rollins was alive, some of these things, he was virtually, yes, an NDC founder, all right. But when they went wrong, he blasted them. He blasted them. But as it stands now, President Kufo has not in a single day condemned the leadership. So for me, it is very problematic that at this level, that I see a partisan. That is what worries me about his style of politics. At this time, you should have been advising both the ruling government and the opposition. That is what you should be doing for now. Because he has nothing to gain and he has nothing to lose. But if he positions himself in that manner of that statement, not partisan statement, that, for me, will increase growth In recent years, you know, in recent years, NDC for Kasa, they find a way of praising President Kufo without being abusive. But for him to go on the program, you know, uh, and there may be one or two making those statements that show that it's still partisan of the And then there are more in the state in the country. Programs no home par. No mass one, they are called. All because you want to create the impression that those who are who are pathetic against the current leadership what is that? All right, Doctor. Me and now I see now. If I will see how we say, but be be sure you are best about Hormo because he said I can just some few days to election 2024. Tensions are high. Tempers are very very high. And of course, I said no dika kaya no. Concentration on the messages no ena aye the most important thing. But now. It looks like all the campaign messages and they uh near now are starting air tenants in some way. I mean, is it is it so good enough? Oh now I will just let me be some way at the chat to cross the way I will share the campaign messages, policies and programs are uh educate we and one or more yeah now because I cast some few days to elections. Uh are we expecting all these things? Is there an acquired a competition of promises who can promise heaven and who is not promising hell that is what is happening i don't think it's a it augurs well for all of us because at the end of the day they will hold that against you and you know very well that you'll not be able to do that all right uh, I mean... Dr. Baumia especially has been going off tangent with respect to all manifesto on the tour he's realized that the manifesto has so many deficiencies and you know very well, sir, you are running an economy that you cannot even service your debt. How can you have a debt to GDP by the end of the year? 83, you know, 83%, which means that government has just 17% of physical space. You have been yanked off the commercial market in terms of euro bond idea. So where are you going to get the money to do all those things that you're talking about? So a party that is in government ought to rather be more measured and mm. more responsible mm. in the kinds of things that you tell the public, especially when you know very well, say, in a moment, I went to me and yet. Mm. For which reason people believe that you're not credible. I see. And you still go out there because your opponent is promising. Your opponent is not in government. You still go out there because your opponent is promising. You're also promising the heaven. All right. That will not make you gain the sympathy of the people. But I say, Dr. Jonathan Asad Jotri. But I say, thank you very much for your. Onuya, 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 ninety-five point one FM, ninety-five point one FM. Yeah, Jinemo, Jinemo, Jinemo.